Hi, today we're going to talk about how to run multiple regression in R. For the purpose of this lesson, we are going to make use of data containing information of biking and smoking and how they affect heart disease. So let's quickly import our data, type in the function read.csv and save it into my on the variable my data. Control enter. Quickly pick um, our data. Mine is saved on desktop. Alright, so we see our data is in our environment. So to see our data, we can type my data. Control enter. Alright, so here is the data. We can also look for the summary of this data. Data. Control Enter, and here is the summary. So before we continue, let's check if this our data made some assumptions in R for um, um, multiple regression. And the first one is going to be independent of independence of observation. So to do this, we are going to use the function call C O R um, my data dollar sign biking to see whether biking and whether there is a correlation between biking and um, smoking being the two independent variable from our data come to enter so from the result in the console we, we can see that the result is shown 0 0.015 which is very small saying that our the correlation between biking and, and smoking is very small so we can use this data for for this lesson the second we're gonna the second assumption we're gonna look at is um, normality normality and we're going to use the function is okay my data dollar sign heart disease and control enter all right from the diagram here from the plot here we can see that the data are concentrated to the middle and less to less at the side so it's in a bell curve shape so yes we say that it is um valid then we go to the third assumption which is linearity and we're going to use a scattered plot to do this plot heart disease For this, we are going to be making two plots. First, for heart disease against uh, biking. Then the data that we are going to source our information from is my data. So first, we're going to make for bike heart disease against biking. Then we'll come back to make for heart disease against uh, smoking. Control enter. So from the information here, you see that they are relatively linear. Okay, so this can go. Then we look for look at the other independent variable, heart dot disease against um, smoking. Come on, the data has been sourced from my data. Then we hit Control Enter. So also looking at this data, looking at this information rather, we can also see that it is somewhat rel rel uh, relatively linear. Okay, so the fourth assumption is going to be our um, homoscedar acidity, but that's what we're going to do at the end of our um, analysis. So for us to go to the fourth one, I would have to first of all run a simple 
our multiple linear uh, our multiple uh, regression and then with that I'm going to use the function I'm going to use the function and save it in the variable data my data lm and the function is going to be lm meaning linear model Okay, so LM linear model, open bracket, heart disease, heart dot disease. Against biking plus smoking. The mark data is obtained from my data again okay. so after which I will click control enter now I'll look for the summary of my data LM LM control enter so here's the information in the console. So in interpreting this, the estimate here, we have in biking showing minus 0 0.2, while smoking showing for 0 0.178. All right, in interpreting this, we would say for every 1% of biking, there is a 0 0.2 reduction in heart disease. And for smoking, for every 1% of smoking, there is a 0 0.178 increase in heart disease. Okay, so when we come down here, the p-value, very small, 2.2 exponential minus 16. So we can conclude that there is a positive relationship between first biking, there is a negative relationship between first biking and um, smoking, and also a positive relationship between smoking and um, sorry there's a there's a there's a negative relationship between biking and uh, heart disease and there is a positive relationship between smoking and um, heart disease so for every for every increase in biking there's a reduction in heart disease and for every increase in smoking there's an increase in um, heart disease all right so that is there there is the analysis so we can now go back to check for the homogeneity of variance there so in order for us to do that we are going to use the function pr open bracket mf rule equal to c all right the f this particular function is um, telling us that we, we, we the screen is going to be divided into two by two. Okay, so after this, you can go back over again and type this function and make this instead of two, make it one. So control enter. Then we type the function plot heart. Plot, uh, sorry, plot my data LM. I'm going to enter. So here is it. So from this, we can just quickly conclude that you got this red line here, turn it to 20, as well as here and here. Seeing this, we would agree that there are no outliers or bias that would make our 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 data invalid and looking at the normal qq we also see that they are strongly attached one to one so we can conclude that there are no outliers or bias that would make our data totally invalid so yes it meets the homogeneity of our variance so that is the end of our class today do not forget to like the video subscribe share and drop your drop well your, your questions in the comment section and i'll do well to answer that thank you